not after I moved here from Texas. I came alone because Carol and the children were still waiting for school to be over. On the weekends that I was not on call here, I visited churches. When I finally came to St. Philip's, I was taken in hand by the greeter-in-chief, um, Sigrid Conway, who introduced me to a number of uh, parish members and to the rector. I really felt at home here, and after several visits, I called Carol and told her she could rest easy that I'd found a church home. Several years later, and that involved my dad, who was a lifelong Baptist from Kosciuszko and had visited Episcopal churches with us on occasion, but otherwise had no real connection to the Episcopal church. And he was hospitalized in Jackson for several months, and the rector and members of St. Philip's visited on a weekly basis. That was a very much appreciated thing. When it became evident that he was not going to survive this, he um, asked Craig if, when he died, if he would come to Kosciuszko and conduct the service. And when that day arrived, not only did the rector show up, but a goodly portion of the choir, the choir director, and several uh, church members uh, from St. Philip's. And I, words just don't express how uplifted our family felt at that. I am the coordinator of um, adult Christian education, and it's, it's, it's been a real learning process. It's been a growth process. I think it was St. Teresa of Avila who said that Christ has no body here on earth except for uh, you and I. And that kind of stuck with me that if we were going to have this program, we needed to really work at it and be the feet and the hands to, to get it moving. It's nice to be able for adults to talk to each other about things in the church that are important to them. Programs in the church really need to be supported. And to make a pledge is just part of that commitment to seeing that this program and other programs here at St. Phillips continue. And remember when you make that pledge, it's to continue with things that we're doing now, but also to let us plan for things in the future which we're doing. People who, in the course of a conversation, said, you know, really important things happen here. Things that, at that time, I might not have even thought of, that the outreach of this church into the community is much greater than I ever thought that it might be. And that, that sort of stuck with me for, for all my time here that we do have a purpose outside the walls of the church.